What's up guys? Gator here, another edition of Grilling in with Gator. Um, you know, I know we've done it in uh I done it before, but we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do some uh uh chicken drumsticks as you can see. Uh you know, before I just uh <clears throat> I put a little bit of seasoning on them, we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna actually, you know, honestly, you can just grab some uh you don't have to go through with the the big rubs and stuff like that. These these are going to taste excellent. <clears throat> I just went and got uh, a uh, buffalo wing uh, seasoning, and uh, it's going to be super simple. Um, we're going to do a lot of the same that we did in the past. This this seasoning mix is awesome. We're just going to take them. I'll be uh, one thing to make sure of is uh, that we uh, dry off. Start out with a, a dry dry wing. Okay. Drop them in the bag. And again, I got two bags of the saw uh, of the of the mix. Shake it off, and again, that's fairly simple. Drying them off first, dunk them. And what these are gonna, you know, we're gonna do them the same way that we did did the uh, the the uh, wings the last time. We're gonna throw them in our with our ninja. Wood fire outdoor grill. We're gonna set them at uh, we're gonna on uh, smoker mode, 350 degrees, and uh, we're gonna do them for. They it's only gonna take about a half an hour. Get some good smoke on them. These also have you know like again instead of you know just the smoky season. These are gonna be buffalo style. Should really try it, you know. It, it, it just it's a different taste instead of the uh, barbecue style. Having a little bit of buff, having that buffalo wing kind of kicks it up a notch. Um, half an hour, three fifty with the with the smoke. Then we'll turn around and the nice uh, again. The nice thing about that ninja is uh, I can then turn it off. And switch it to air fryer mode for about yeah ten minutes or so, five minutes or so. Give it, and that what what that'll do is that'll take that that skin and that'll uh, crisp up that skin and uh, give us nice crispy skin smoked buffalo style uh, drumsticks. You know, done it. You can do that. You know, this is typically for like you know just wings, but again, you know, play with it, play around with it, and uh, that's what we'll do. So I'm gonna finish coating these, and then we'll be out and uh, at, at the uh, ninja and uh, get them cooking. Back in a few. Okay, we're out here. Got our. Uh, Ninja plugged in, ready to go. We're going to be going to smoker mode. We're going to be going to change the temperature to 350. And even though we are, it's going to take about a half an hour, I'm still going to use the old, uh, use the uh, temp probe and one of the thicker ones because I just want to make sure that they're going to be good. But it'll take about, I've done them, it's going to take about a half an hour. So we'll end up going to manual, and then I'm going to cut them off at about a hundred and about 160 degrees is where I cut them off at. So 165. Let's change it to one. Uh, or was it 155? I think I take them to yeah, 160 degrees, and then what's going to happen then? 
is, you know, we'll be good at 160 degrees. You know, they'll be cooked. Uh, they are thighs dark meat. They can take so they can take a little bit more. So that's when <clears throat> when when you know smoker mode three at 350 to 160 degrees. Then I'm gonna turn around and turn it off, turn it to the air crisp mode, and then air crisp them for you know, like I said, about five minutes. I'll take them up to you know a, a, a just enough time to crisp up that skin because you know on skin side up, crisp up that skin. That five minutes will then take them about to 175, 180 degrees. That's going to be perfect. Uh, not overdone. Still going to be juicy. Okay, so let's get our wings loaded. They've, you know, that coating is kind of sweated on a little bit. Got to find a. As you can see, I'm using my mat, my grill mat that I, pick, or you know, picked up, and. Uh, the grill mat along with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, grate that I that I purchased. You know, again, you want to do it that way because we don't want to put anything on uh, anything on these on the you know the, the any metal on that surface. You know, they do not recommend it, so obviously we don't want to do it. Kind of a little creative. Uh, Tetrising here to get this to be able to get them all on, be able to close that lid. But they do fit. I want to make sure there's some room in between so they can uh, get some smoke all around them and underneath them. There we go. A second here to. You know, I know I got gloves on, but just wipe off my hands here. I set my grill, grab this temp probe, that looks like a nice thick one right there. Ugh. Not too close to the bone, but we want to get in there good enough. Make sure that we're getting a good temp area. So, got it set manual mode. Get my pellets in. Again, we're really not going to use that many pellets. It's uh, definitely, I will have pellets left over for sure. My half cup of pellets in there. Didn't even take a half cup. Yeah. Don't even need to overflow that one. Okay, so smoker, 160, 350 degrees. And away we go. So, and, uh, and again, you know, uh, if you've seen my other video uh, on the... Uh, the chicken uh, that I've done before, uh, I do the ignition process and let the let the stuff in there. You know, they do sometimes say to uh, wait until it's you know the it, it, to add food until after the ignition process. I'm giving it that couple extra minutes of smoke because I really want these nice and smoky and it gives it a great flavor. So back in a bit. All right, guys, we just hit 160. So get food. Looking at them, they're looking pretty good. Hot. <sighs> We're going to then now turn it to off and then back on to air crisp. We're going to. Just go five minutes because I like I said I know five minutes will take it won't take us more than one uh, 160 so or I'm sorry 180 so and since we we're pretty close to that temperature now I mean shouldn't uh we can bypass the uh I bypass the uh, uh preheat cuz it was already still pretty warm Oop, as I kick my tripod and away we go another 5 minutes to crisp up that finish crisping up that skin 
and uh, back in a few. Hey, we're back. Uh, one thing I wanted to show while we're still going here. Um, you kick it on the air fryer and you can really see the smoke just going. Uh, that also, that's another, you know, not only is it uh, crisp in the skin, but it really starts pushing that smoke around in, the, in there too, giving it all that extra smoky flavor. So, yeah, like I said, another, uh, uh, another minute on uh here a minute or so on this and uh and uh we're gonna be done um <clears throat> so back when it finishes okay now ten <clears throat> nine seconds left seven five four all right i got my inkbird uh instant read out here finished let's lift the lid oh man Woo! look at that smoke Get that in there, temp probe. Yeah, 171. Some of these are a little higher. Looking pretty good. All right. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes inside, and we'll uh, have my love. Get tonight. Today's video is get my got my lovely wife is going to be the taste tester for you. So back in a few minutes. All right, and we're back. Uh, my wife here is going to taste test for us. We've got uh, she's got coleslaw. On a side note, I don't know why anyone buys uh, pre-made coleslaw. Coleslaw dressing is so easy to make. Uh, well, maybe I'll have to do a video or something on that. On that. You totally should. Let's give her get her a uh, uh, one of the wings. Oh, that's okay. It's easier for me to get it. I am mm. a skater. Gonna taste these delicious uh, drumsticks, and Gator is absolutely correct. <laughs> this coleslaw, his coleslaw is wonderful. I love it. It's the best coleslaw I've ever had. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try a bite. Now I'll just warn you all: I'm not the biggest buffalo flavored fan, so we'll see how this goes for me. Oh, I took too big of a bite. But, by the way, the chicken is really juicy, really tender. Love it. It's got a nice smoky flavor. Um, the buffalo part is actually not overpowering, which is really good. So, I give it 100%. <laughs> Alright, for <laughs> grilling with Gator, this is great. Gator and his wife. Uh... See you next time.